Do you need the police or paramedics? City of New Orleans, 911, what's the address of the emergency? I need an ambulance in the emergency, real, real bad, family. I'm on the interstate, man. We slammed into the railing. So y'all had an accident? We slammed into the side, and I can't, I can't see, ma'am. Okay, ma'am, stay with me, okay? It's no choice. Ma'am, I just sent a ticket to your phone so you can give me your location. Once you click that, I'll be able to see exactly where you guys are. My phone is so bloody, ma'am. Oh, Jesus. We need help, ma'am. Help is on the way, ma'am, okay? They're on their way. All right, I beg you. So we want to wreck on the interstate. Hopefully, no one's injured. Oh. Wrecks up here can be pretty bad, man. Dude, when it's raining. And it's raining, too. I hope it ain't too bad. I guess it's going to be on that side, because well, this is gonna easy. Be, it might be on that yeah. little loop right now. Oh, yeah, you can see it. I don't know how we gonna get to that, pal. You can show us an area, we see it. It's on the little flyover. Just give us a little delay. We're trying to figure out the best way to access it. Okay, well, just be advised, you think her head went through the windshield. Oh, whoa, her head went through the windshield? You gonna back up the ramp, or let me get out and back it? Me and Joe, we responded to a call for an SUV that just hit a guardrail. And they're telling me that the patient's head went through this windshield. I'm thinking, does this lady have some type of head fracture? So Joe and I need to snap to it. We're going to have to walk up the on-ramp. Hey. Did, all right, what are they wearing seatbelts? Say, fam, are you wearing seatbelt? What's up? What's up? Oh, oh, look. Real bad, so All right. 50 contact, charm activation. We got you, baby. We got you, love. Thank you. Are you able to stand up? Oh, yeah. Any neck or back pain? Let that stretch her down. I see that, brother. We got her, OK? Did you get knocked out? Look, Everybody baby, else look, OK? Look. We got to put this on your neck, Let's love. take this jacket off. Give me this phone. Take the jacket off. We got you, sweetheart. Here. We got you. We got you, love. It's going to be all right. Let's, dro let's just drop this jacket. You got to lower your head. Hold, hold it up. All right, let's get her on the stretcher. Come on, love. Come on, baby. We got you. You, you. just stay in there, and I'm going to turn the stretcher towards you. We got you, baby. The patient's talking to me, so that's a good sign. But she has a major laceration to her, her forehead. There's a lot of blood. And so it's really hard to tell what kind of injuries she really has at this point. All right, my name's Joe, and that's Titus, OK? And we're going to take good care of you. What was your name again? Danielle. I can remember that, because that's my sister's name. I know you're scared, but everything's going to be all right, all right? We got you. All right, Joe, how you been, dog? I'm gonna go do it. Yeah. You having any trouble breathing? No. Yeah, we do. Here you go. All right, baby. Legs and arms. You said, did you pass out at all? No. Nice deep breath. I got you, I got you. All right, cool. Let's get it. If you abandon that, I'm going to start an IV. Here's your uh, acrylics. Let me see this arm. Hey, hand me a head, uh, head block. I got you, baby. Hey, Danielle, uh, just keep talking to me, all right? Bye. Keep talking, D. We about to go to the hospital. You got it? Come on. All right, big stick. Good job. Good job, D. You're doing good, baby. Now, keep talking. How old is your kid, baby? Four years old, I got a little five-year-old too, love. We want to keep her talking because we want to monitor her alert status. And this lady wants to live. You can see it in her face, the way she's talking and the way she's calm. She's telling us everything that we need to know. And the more information that we have, the better chance we could do to save her life. How? Nah, we good, she be good. Thank y'all, fella. It's trauma activation. It takes a lot of force to go through a windshield. So I'm really concerned about what's going on inside of her skull. I'm thinking I need to get this lady to the trauma center as quickly as I can, because at this point, she needed a CAT scan like yesterday. I'm trying to start get an IV on you before we get there, all right? You left your veins at home, huh? They're hard to get. Yeah, you are hard to get. If you'd have knew all this was going to happen, you'd have brought them with you, huh? <laughs> I got you laughing. That's what I want. 
Keep laughing for me, okay? You're gonna be all right. Ten twenty-two by the blue. Come on, let's go. Going on a little car accident. See a lot of lights down there already. There's been a three-car collision on the expressway off ramp. I can't tell what the hell's happening, dude. Let's see what we have, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty bad cut. What happened, dude? I'm sorry, dear. What car was she in? Right. She was standing up. She was standing behind the car, and the car came and smashed her. What's her name? Hope? Hope. Her name is Hope, yes. Hope. My name's Dan, OK? I'm the paramedic that's going to take you to the hospital, all right? We're going to do a bunch of things, OK? You're going to get some IVs, and we're going to go to the hospital where a bunch of stuff's going to happen real fast, all right? She has a crush injury to her lower leg. Her leg below the knee was actually split open. Are you in the car, but are you hurt? Um, the airbag is split on my head. All right, do you want to go to the hospital by ambulance? I want, I want to go with my sister. Are you, this is your sister? All right, we're going to take her. All right. Dad, I'm going to have everything in the, I'm gonna have everything in the truck set up for you. Great, Great okay. job. She's going to wait right in there by them doors for me. If you come over with us, get in that seat. I'm sorry, yeah, Mom. I'm sorry. I just want to take nice, deep breaths. Wiggle you. There you go. Can you feel me touching your foot? Which foot am I touching? That's right. You feel me over here? Good. You're going to be all right. Hey, look, I, we have your sister with us, all right? So you were standing at the back of your car, is that correct? I did a. Uh, I know, I know. I'm coming. I'm getting ready to cover you up. I'm so sorry, baby. I know, I know, Mom. I know. I just, all right, that's it. That's Sorry, it. That's it's it. It's all right. Look, it's okay. Like this. It's all right. We got it. I just wanted to cover it up. You got it on up? All right, we out, man. Thank you, Zyrus. All right, do you got this? Go ahead. Yeah, thank you. All right, let's go. Big stick. One, two, three. Open your eyes big wide, or just look right here at my nose. Well, we checked out. Everything seems fine. Her leg is definitely broken. Her tip fib is bro broken. I got a big laceration. Is that something they're going to stitch back, or are they going to have to That's going to have to do a or... skin graft, yeah, definitely, because that's like totally just gone. She uh, has a pretty traumatic injury to her right lower leg. The uh, soft tissue and, and, and deep tissue is pretty destroyed. When you pulled in, I saw she was talking. She was protecting the airway, so that was pretty good. Dude, you saw that leg, though? Oh, man. Dude, so did you, you caught what happened, right? So her car was the red car. Right. The car with the most damage was the sister's car. It was burning right. her gas. Right. And that third car plowed into the back of the sister's car, which hit her and then somehow pinned her between that car and her own Dude, vehicle. that could have been so much worse. Besides the leg. I mean, just think if they would have been walking behind the sister's car. Right. Would have been working two trauma cars. That would have been bad. City of New Orleans, 911 was location of the emergency. Oh, can y'all send the police a bad, bad accident just happened on asking the Franklin Avenue exit? We need an ambulance ASAP. Yeah, we got a call about it. We're getting somebody out there to help now, OK? Been right to a motor vehicle accident on the interstate. I hate going on accidents, especially on the interstate. Really dangerous. That's the left lane block, and the just has the mat truck, and it's on the right lane and right shoulder. All right, we got our rescue truck on scene. He just happened to be in the area. He just advised that there's one trauma activation so far. 20, put me in the area. Hold, hold, hold still. Hold still. Uh, 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 uh. He went through the windshield. His face is mad. Yeah, but there's no airbags on the floor. I need gloves, babe. All right, we got one missing. Was there another vehicle? We took it off the interstate. Go check on the other patient. I'm on scene of an MVC. It's the critical patient, his head has gone through a windshield. The crew already has their patient, so I need to go check for a second patient. Hey, guys. So 
Okay. Were the you guys, guys in the car? Were you guys involved in it? No. I just came in between them. Okay. He's stable. 6220, send me a second unit, please. Traffic is I-10 West, but for another vehicle accident, stay someone's on the ground. Go to another. Oh, God. Somebody. The second patient is stable. He's not critical. So I call for a second unit and assist with the critical patient. Ready? Oh. 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 I got to get oh. him out here. Oh. Oh. Hold up. Oh. Not hold move. up, baby. Hold up. Oh. Hold up. Oh. Yeah. Your chest too? My immediate concerns is a possible head injury, brain injury, neck injury. Windshields are pretty thick, so for your head to go through a windshield is a very significant impact. Oh, your arms down, baby, arms oh. down, one more time. Hold them right there for me, okay? There you go. Oh. I got him, baby. Oh. Keep your arms down for me. Oh. 3248, where else? What you got, Keely? They already towed his truck off the interstate. The car down there hit him at full speed behind and uh, spun him out, caused okay. him to hit this. Left shoulder pain and what else, baby? OK, yeah. all right. Any trauma activation criteria? We don't know what the vehicle looked like because they moved it. Regardless of the patient's mental status, we can activate a patient for the trauma center just based off of mechanism and damage to the vehicles. The white vehicle definitely met that criteria. Any of this hurt back here? Uh, the right oh, side. We're, we're just right your arm, but no neck or back pain. Yeah, right? just seat belt on, brother. Yeah. What's your name? Now. All right, B, look, we're going we're gonna to hold you down, all right? The patient's complaints are shoulder, neck, and chest pain. So we decided to put a seat collar on him. So we're going to put this on just precautionary, all right, in case he has some damage to the bony structures in the neck. But I really want to get him off of the interstate into the back of the ambulance where I can further assess him. Now look, just to make sure, so does it hurt? So it hurt, your chest hurt, all right? What about any stomach pain? No. Does it hurt to breathe? A little Wait, bit? All right. Seven minutes. <clears throat> it's important to get the trauma activation right. We don't want to trauma activate everyone because then we tie up a lot of resources that patient may or may not need. But I decided to err on the side of caution and call the trauma center and see if they want to trauma activate this guy. University Medical Center, New Orleans EMS trauma activation. Go ahead and proceed to EMS triage. Temple? I'm going to run down here and take a look at his van. All right, brother. We're going to get you to the hospital, OK? You were at work, or are you getting off? I was going back to the yard. Going back to the yard. Didn't make it, huh? All I knew was just somebody to hit the back of the truck. You're just chilling, and next thing you know, bam. Uh, but get there. all your vitals are good, your lung sounds are good. You got a little bruising right here, OK? All right, yeah, he took a good look. He had airbag deployment, and like the whole front end of the delivery van is, is pretty much uh, gone. I guess from him hitting the guardrail. Is there any trauma activation that he hit them? No, not really. There's some damage to the back of it, but it's minimal. Nothing that meets room for. All right, so they're probably not going to activate you once I tell them that, all right? I'll relay the information that Keeley gives me to the doctors and let them know that the vehicle didn't meet trauma criteria and let them determine how they're going to proceed with treating this patient. Hopping off the interstate now. We're going to be pulling up, OK? Patient is conscious and breathing. 10-4, chosen route from Rampart and Barracks. Need two transports. So it sounds like they definitely got two people. We received a call for a motor vehicle accident with entrapment, meaning that they were occupants of one vehicle that were unable to get themselves out of the vehicle. 10 What car is he? Oh, yeah, he's right here. When we pull up on the scene, I see a car kind of like up on the sidewalk that had collided with a, um, a light pole. What is what is hurting you right now? Why are you sitting like that? Is it more comfortable for you like that? I've got no sidewalk. Till we physically be able to touch the patient, we're still at a, a, a loss. Like, you know, we, we don't have a clue what's going on. The gentleman driving the vehicle, that's your son? Okay. 
The driver was not able to get out. He said he had too much pain in his back to try to climb out the passenger side. So Chris on our rescue unit is on scene to help extricate the uh, driver from the vehicle. All right, baby, we try not to move too much from there, right, Mom? You didn't get knocked out, right? All right. We was concerned that a lot of things could be going on. Something hit him that hard for that car to ball up, so we don't know what's going on until we physically be able to touch the patient. We're still at a, a, a loss. Like, you know, we, we don't have a clue what's going on. Ready? One, two, three. Hey, look, my man. Hey, We're going to get this under your butt. We're going to slide you back towards me, and me and my people are going to pull you out, OK? Right now, we're putting your son in the truck with us, and we're going to go. Listen, you're going to feel like you're falling on this bench, but you are not going to fall, OK? You know, you prioritize things. Even though we was mainly concerned about him, because the impact was on his side, we know we won't be able to get enough information until we secure his mom's. So let's get her out get him to calm down, and then let the call just run, you know, smoothly. 6247. Russ, if you get a chance, snap a picture of his side of the car and send it to me so I can show the docs at the hospital, please. Yep. What happened, man? Just blew a red light or something? They blew the red light. Right. I saw him coming, but I thought he was going to stop. Right. Look right here at my nose. Open your eyes big wide. Look right here at my nose. Baby, I'm going to come do you first, all right? Take your vitals. Your blood pressure is hot. I'm a little concerned about it right now. I know you're upset. They hit me so hard, it knocked my wig off. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty hard. During our routine assessments, the mother is found to have a really high blood pressure. This is worrisome because high blood pressures can cause strokes and other things like that. So either way, she needs quick transport to the hospital. All right, baby, look, I'm going to get you to the hospital. I'm going to take a nice, easy yeah. drive, OK? Please, Tyler. All right. New Orleans EMS two-lane patient report. Hey, it's Dan with New Orleans. I got two patients for you from an NBC. We usually don't keep two patients in the back. We are uh, equipped and we are trained to cover two patients, but both of the patients know each other. You know, at that point, if they comfort each other, all we do is just give them a ride to the hospital. And next thing you know, we're pulling up on a ramp. City of New Orleans, 911. What's your emergency? Someone just hit the guardrail. He just went to banging, boom, boom, boom. They in a uh, in a white car. They flipped over to the construction zone. You say it was a white vehicle? It was a Nissan Sentra. Cause no one hit the car. It just I don't know what happened. It looked like he off control. All right, we're gonna get units to that location as soon as possible. There you have an MBA involving a white Nissan Sentra. Things unknown. How many people are injured? Call them back to reporting. So we are headed to an MVC way out there. It's such a huge stretch of interstate. People get tired. It's really dark, and oh, there's yeah. construction in that area. And if you're not paying attention and you're exhausted, I've worked a lot of like bad calls out here. I'm New Orleans, 911. I'm on the interstate. Just had a terrible accident. They're going to need an ambulance. Do you know how many cars are involved? It was just that one car. OK. It was stirring into the left lane, and it kept on, and boom. And I can see the car bouncing off the wall. Do you know if anyone is injured, ma'am? Most likely they are. Can you tell if anyone is trapped in the car? Yeah, they were trapped in the car. It was pitch dark. Even if they wanted help, nobody can see them. OK, we have help on the way. One person is the trap inside their vehicle. 6249 on the route. Well, we just heard that someone's pinned. 49. When did it say that? Is it another one? 4249 is here. It's fine. I can't wait. No. No. Come on, man. Now it just changed the whole mood. Having someone trapped inside of a vehicle can really make the difference between whether we can get them out alive or whether we're pulling out somebody that's now a trauma code. This person could be extremely critical, but you have no choice. You have to wait until they're cut out of this vehicle before you can provide any care. 
It's accessible from the eastbound side right before mile marker 251. It's like right in the barrier. What in the? 6249, you should be on How the did that happen? But how did this happen? Hi. Hey, what happened? Oh, I got ripped. You okay? Yeah. It was just you? Yeah. How'd you end up in here? Uh. <laughs> Not sure. When you look at damage like this, the fact that somehow he was able to get off of the interstate and into this barricaded off construction area, and he's walking around completely unscathed. I mean, on a scale of one to final destination, he's extremely lucky. Are you injured? Oh, uh, no. Are you sure? Yeah, I've okay. been in a lot of wrecks. So, okay, so yeah. you didn't need to go to the hospital by ambulance? No. 6249, no one's strapped. How'd you even oh get my right God. here? Oh, You're lucky that didn't impale That's you. That's the final destination. Oh, that? Uh oh, I don't like that. Where are we at right here? You're in between mile marker 250 and 251. That thing probably saved his life. I just, because it had to get right here. Essentially almost stopped the car. How far am I from New, uh, New Orleans? I mean, you're technically in New Orleans. Okay. You're just in the east part of New Orleans. OK, all right. Yeah, all right, not live or anything. We're all right, out of here. Thank y'all. <laughs> Um, NOPD should be on the way. If at any point in time you start feeling bad, you feel injured, you change your mind, you want to go to the hospital, please call us back, okay? Just call 911. All right. All right, you have a good night, bud. Glad you're all right. Like, it makes I don't know, no man. sense. <laughs> like, I don't know how he got right there. It's going to bother just went me. Over, he went over the guardrail. Like, launched over the guardrail? I had to. All well, they did was to stop him. And that piece of rebar, like, came up and stopped in. And he's just walking about like everything's fine. <laughs> All right. That is some final destination <laughs> if I ever saw it. Safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Ran the knob. Ran the knob. They're not dead. I can work with them.